Courage Bowl 11 at Grownie Stadium, pitting St. John Fisher College against the college at Brockport to benefit the children of Camp Good Days and Special Times. First quarter, Brockport gets on the board first on a five-yard reception from Dan Andrews, 7-0 Golden Eagles. Ensuing Fisher drive, quarterback Danny Caton is sacked by Ed Suriano and the ball hits the turf. Suriano picks it up and returns the fumble 60 yards for the touchdown, and Brockport goes up 14-0. Second quarter, the Cardinals answer as a fake punt from Brandon Fuentes catches the Brockport defense off guard, and Fuentes goes the distance. 55 yards for the touchdown, and Fisher is back to within seven. After a Nate Wilkinson touchdown makes it 21-7 Brockport, Fisher's James Chambers scores from two yards out to bring the Cardinals back to within a touchdown, 21-14 at the half. Second half, Fisher's run continues as Caton hits Bobby Campisi for the 10-yard touchdown and the Cardinals tie it up at 21. Next Fisher drive, Caton connects with Chambers. 67 yards later, Fisher takes their first lead of the contest at 28-21. Fourth quarter, Brockport evens it again as Andrews scores from one yard out, 28 all. After a Fisher three and out, the Golden Eagles are back on the field and their drive ends with a 19-yard touchdown from Andrews and Brockport takes the lead back 35-28. Ensuing Cardinal drive, Fisher responds. Caton takes it himself for a 15-yard touchdown rush, and we are tied again at 35. Brockport with a chance to take the lead again, but Wayne Bonzel's pass is intercepted by Alec Mortolaro. The Cardinals with a chance to pull out their first win of the season in dramatic fashion. Two seconds to go. Taylor Byrne on for a 27-yard field goal to win. Here's Dave Yates on Cardinals All Access. And the game. Kick is up, and it's oh, blocked by Brockport! No. And they've got a chance! No! They've got a chance to go! Brockport blocks the kick. Byrne drags him down. So the Courage Bowl heads to overtime for the first time in history. Brockport takes possession first in the extra session. But another Bonzo pass is intercepted by Mortolaro and Fisher once again gets a chance at the win. Taylor Byrne back on for a field goal attempt from 22 yards out, but he misses. Wide left. We go to double overtime. Fisher on first, and Caton calls his own number again. The score from one yard out gives the Cardinals a 42-35 lead. Brockport answers with another touchdown from Dan Andrews, his second on the ground and fourth of the day overall, and a third overtime appears on the horizon. Once again, here's Dave Yates. He missed the kick! He missed the extra point! Tyler Purtis' kick goes wide right! And St. John Fisher, unbelievable! What a Holds game. on to win it, 42 to 41! <laughs> In quite possibly the greatest Courage Bowl of all, and certainly the best finish, the Cardinals emerge victorious 42-41 in double overtime, and in the process, pick up their all-important first win of the 2015 season. Caton finished the day 10 of 18 through the air for 164 yards and two touchdowns, but his two rushing scores were the deciding factor for the Cardinals. Tony Fusco chipped in on the ground with 152 yards on 31 carries. Defensively, Alec Mortolaro led the way with 12 tackles and two key interceptions, while Brandon Miller reached double digits in tackles while sacking the quarterback twice. With the win, Fisher moves to 11-0 all-time in the Courage Bowl.
like we always say, it's bigger than just the game. And uh, it's great to have these kids around us all week to come to our practices. And we get to give them a little fun for a week, and they get to enjoy the game. But as for the game, that was, that was crazy. <laughs> Wasn't expecting it, but, I mean, two great competitors, and we came out here and played. I have to credit our coaches, I'm not going to lie. All week they were drilling this one play into us that when they move inside, they're going to run double outs. When that came up, I knew that they were going to run it, so then I picked it off on the third and two. On the one on the goal line, it was simple. I just knew they were going to run a fade, and I just made the play, and he didn't. We think we've gotten better each week since, you know, we, we didn't play very well down in, in Kentucky and, and, and that, and I thought we played much better against the good Cortland team. Um, but then I think we were better tonight uh, against another good team, Brockport. So uh, I, I think we're getting better. We, we need to continue to improve and, and uh, straighten some things out so that we don't have to go to double overtime.